Right, so in this video I'll be talking about circle graphs. I'll be talking specifically about how you get from this weird equation to a specific graph, because it's a general drawing, right? Uh, and specific things are going to be what's the radius of the circle going to be, depending on the equation of the graph, and stuff like you know where is this circle going to be positioned which you can kind of see already so but the first thing I really want you to do is get comfortable with this equation because it is very weird why is it weird because most equations that you've seen so far for graphs start with y equals stuff with x's in it, it certainly doesn't have an extra letter like r so what is going on with this equation of a graph right now I should say I'm not going into too much detail as to why this equation makes this graph I'm just explaining the bits and pieces there's a separate video uh, that comes after this explaining exactly why this equation makes this graph right why is x squared and y squared and stuff like that so very quickly what's happening is a bit of Pythagoras you might be able to see that it's like oh something squared something squared and that's another thing squared and added together over there what this graph is saying is that if for a fixed number like r so say um, r was 5 yeah and r is not a letter chosen at random it means radius so if the radius is 5 that means if the radius of this circle is 5 that means the equation of this graph would be x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared or literally it would be 25 they won't say 5 squared normally they say 25 so x squared plus y squared equals 25 means a graph with radius 5 and center 0 okay or the origin is what we sometimes say for the you know when you're at zero zero so all the circle graphs for GCSE anyway will have center zero zero they're trying to keep it simple you can make circles that don't have a center at zero but that's a slightly differently looking graph and it doesn't come up, come up in the exams they keep it very simple in the GCSEs okay so continuing a bit more so equations of a circle look like this x squared plus y squared equals something squared r is some number okay a fixed number that is so another example of a circle would be x squared plus y squared equals 16 16 is 4 squared so r would be 4 means that x squared plus y squared equals 16 means a circle with center 0 0 and because it said 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 that means it's got a radius 4 from there to there is 4 from there to there is 4 which also means that point on the x-axis is 4 that point on the y-axis is 4 and that's minus 4 and that's minus 4 let's give you another example just to be really comfortable and clear about it x squared plus y squared equals 64 which is obviously 8 squared yeah so if it says 64 here then that means the radius of this circle is 8 and that means it crosses the x-axis over here at 8 and 8 on the y-axis over there and minus 8 on the y-axis over here and minus 8 on the x-axis over there and I think I said it already but the center of the circle will be 0, 0 always always that right so an additional point to say uh, worth noting I should say is for GCSEs they keep things really simple and really really simple so there are hardly any equations they give you they always give you whole numbers squared so it's always like 9, 16 25 it's nothing there's no decimals over here you will never find a decimal there and the other thing is that they always keep the numbers really small so 64 is actually unrealistic the biggest number you might get is 36 okay um, very unreal un um, unlikely that you'll get a number more than 36 over here so 36 ie 6 squared right 
Um, and that's it really. There are very few options. It's either going to be 9 here, 16, 25 or 36. They're not trying to make this part of the GCSE difficult. It's supposed to be, uh, they're keeping this thing very 